Hello world. Hi, how are you? I am doing well. This is Heather Alexandra for Kotaku.com, a video game website about video games. Oh yeah. Oh boy. I am joined in the booth by... Paul Tamayo. Paul Tamayo. It's your boy. The one, the only. The only. Uh, so we're playing Return of the Oprah Din. This is a game by Lucas Pope, who some people might know from making Papers, Please. Um, which was a really interesting game at the time about working as a uh, desktop, a desktop, <laughs> uh, working at a desk, okay. um, at a, at a security checkpoint in like a repressed European country, mm. um, taking people's passports and seeing who can go in and out. Uh, very political game, very hardcore game. This is a little different. This is a puzzle game he's been working on for about four years. Um, wow. demos have been out in certain ways that people can play. Uh, the visual style is really interesting. It's you'll bugging see, me you'll out. see in a minute. Um, and just to show you guys uh, how that vi visual style can be messed around with, uh, your monitor options are set what? to uh, recreate the look of various um, older PCs. So Macintosh, IBM, what? Zenith, Commodore, Commodore 64, which is really rough, um, more IBM, and a couple other things. We'll use this one. This is LCD. It's probably the most legible. Okay. Um, at least I think so. So we're going to start. This is my other save file. We're going to start from, this, from the we're beginning. We're going to start new. Um, oh so the Oberdin um, uh, had a last voyage to the Orient, um, and then its Cape Rendezvous was unmet. <gasps> a crew of 51 men, um, but some passengers on there, so the amount of people on the ship is actually a little bit more. Uh, <clears throat> there we go. Attention, Chief Inspector, Insurance Claims, London Office. The Oberdin has returned. Dispatch to Falmouth immediately and prepare for a full assessment. That's my, that's my, that's old, good. That's my uh, voice. I'm so into this. Right. Company man, woke me up. Said you need ferry to the old bread inn. Not many eager for that job. Seems a bit late if you ask. I didn't. So that voice changes a lot because I last time I played I had a I had a woman voice. Oh really? So I just realized that now. So you'll see how this is in a minute. Um, essentially, we are working for an insurance company. Oh my god! And we need to determine what happened on board the Oberdin. He's gonna hopefully bring up our supplies in a minute. Um, but basically, everyone on board is dead. And we need to figure out what happened to them. And the entire game is a giant puzzle. Picture guess who, and s except instead of just being like, does this person have a beard? <laughs> um, you can be like, oh man, what happened to this person? Were they shot? Who are they? Like, cause sometimes you're going to, so you'll see very early on how some of these puzzles work. And we'll also get a little bit further and show off um, a pretty big story beat as well. At, at any point, do you get to ask someone who shot you? No, 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 oh, it doesn't okay. quite work like that. Um, so, for instance, friggin' corpse, not so good. Um, but there will be times where we're going to find bodies here where maybe we can identify how they were killed, but not um, sort of who they are, or even in reverse. And we'll have a lot of chances to uh, figure out stuff. So this guy can't bring our gear up. Uh, so we have to go back down to him and grab our gear. And we have a couple of things that will help us immensely in our uh, journey to solve the puzzles of um, uh, who are all these dead people and how mm. did they die? I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, if we want to, we can probably even turn the game sound up a little bit more. That's your call, Paul. Uh, so first off, we get this book, which uh, we'll also bit. the graphics are just really great, this whole stippling effect. Um, so we have this book. Um, Return of the Oprah Din, a catalog of adventure and tragedy, and uh, all this thing. I trust you now you find yourself aboard the Oprah Din. I expected this day to come, and my every intention was to use this, it was to tell the ship's strange tale within the pages of this book. Blah, blah, blah. Um, the next few pages you will see will seem bewildering at first. All will make sense in time. Use the pocket watch to determine the identity and fate of everyone aboard. Complete each chapter accurately, and return the book by guaranteed post to the French Office of Affairs in Morocco. Um, so we have an entire book here that gives us a couple things, a uh, layout of the ship and its journey, a list of every single person who was on the ship, hmm. 
So there are, uh, you will see around 60 people on the ship. Uh, they are dead. They They're are, all dead. They are dead, and we need to figure out how they died and who they were. R.I.P. We have this picture of the crew to help us identify people. <sighs> this is so wild. And then just Whoa. books, books, uh, you know, pages to fill with information of what happened, who did what, how it happened. And then, of course, the other thing that will help us um, is this dope-ass pocket watch, the Momentum Morsum. What up, B-Swans? Sorry, I just wanted to say that. No, it's fine. <laughs> um, and so this thing is actually how we're going to solve the majority of the puzzles here on Oberdin. Uh, you will see in a second exactly what it gives us the ability to do. Um, so I'm going to go up to this corpse here. I'm kind of walking people around. Do you, you should stop watching within the next 20 minutes if you want to be completely spoiler free. This, we're going to solve a couple of these initial puzzles. By the time we get to learn the fate of a lady in this room, you're going to get to a pretty big plot point. So if you don't want to get spoiled, um, one of the biggest plot points uh, is told pretty early on. So this thing <gasps> is magic. See you, Dice Game. Magic. And it allows us to see the last moments of the person whose corpse we find. Aha. Whoa. So, shot a gun, fired, what? and hit, presumably the corpse that we found because we are looking at the last moments of how people died but also we have to pay attention because there's multiple people oh right right because not every scene is just one or two people now um, very often there's other people going along so this guy's running up here one guy gets shot he was going to try and barge in with an axe and bust down the door this guy not dead and then he gets a good one off right there boom um, and so presumably this is the captain. I've played a fair amount of this game. Um, although my old save on here only says 26 minutes, I've played a, a significant amount more. Um, so we know that they're busting down the door to the captain's room. And then presumably he busts out with a gun, shoots it. Now do dead. Um, and then I come back to reality and I have my book. And each time I come to a new scene, a new page of the book will fill. Automatically. Yes. So it's going to start giving me information where they were on their voyage, potentially a weapon that was used, where the corpse was located, who was located on the scene, and then the person who died. So here, I don't know who this person is yet, but I definitely mm. know how they died. So I right. get to say, hey, how did they die, Paul? He was shot. He was shot. By what? Gun. Shot by a gun. Fantastic. By who? The captain. By the captain. <gasps> I did it. Cool. But we still don't know who they are. Um, and then, of course, we have the people who were there. Uh, and the interesting thing that the game doesn't tell you right away is that if you have a face that is ob like not obscured, it means that you have enough information to identify who they are, which will help you out in the long run. Okay. So we know, like, hey, this is the dead guy. We don't have enough to identify him yet. Or the game, I mean, in theory, because I mean, I know who he is, but uh, game wants you to have a certain amount of information before it does that. So we can still see who was at the scene, but hey, I think we know enough to identify who this guy is because this is the guy who was firing the gun. Oh. Right? So the person's face is no longer blurred, which means that they can now be identified. Use the book and pocket watch to gather enough, enough information to deduce their identity. Revisit memories on the ship using the pocket watch to study relationships, appearances, and activities. So there is a chance that, like, I mean, you could get this wrong. Right. I could be a complete dumbass right now. <laughs> right. And not take advantage of the absolute gimme that the game uh, was like, oh, Captain. Yeah. I will break down the door. Why'd you shoot me, Captain? <laughs> right. Um, but it says here very clearly, decisive information is rare. You will have to make assumptions using partial information. Some identities may only be revealed through a process of elimination. Hmm. Good luck. So it's a big game of identify. It's like Clue and Guess Who, but way more involved. Um, 
right? So, mm-hmm. hey, pretty sure we know who that is. But the game's not going to confirm it to me. It's not going to be like, yeah, congratulations. <laughs> you I, did it. You did it. You're the best. <laughs> um, it's just going to say, hey. So I'm filling out information bit by bit. I've identified who I believe the captain to be. Yeah. I believe this guy was killed with a gun. Well, we know he was killed with a gun. But I believe he was killed by the captain. <laughs> you thought it was the captain, <laughs> but no, it was me, Dio. Kono Dio da. You thought the first person you'd get to kiss would be <laughs> would be Jonathan. <laughs> ah, it was me, Dio. Oh, now, so there's another. Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, so now that's the guy who we found. And as we move forward, the boat's going to slowly, in its weird magical way, reveal itself to us. Mm. Which means that we have <gasps> another corpse. Oh, that's such a good transition. It's a really good Where are they? little bit. Must be in here someplace. Yeah, is that a JoJo reference? Is that a JoJo meme? Right. Oh. So, dead on the ground. Guy who got shot. Meanwhile. Homie with the axe. Oh, the guy rushes in. Trying to club him. Oh, the knife guy. But the captain, right, opens up his thing again. And also, one thing the game doesn't tell you is if you zoom in, you can see who they are on the page. So, hey. There you go. I mean, you can guess if you want to, but also... We have to remember there was one other guy. Oh, yeah, this dude. Right? So you got to take advantage of that 3D space a what lot. What the? F- this is bugged so out. So this guy ran up. You're bugging me out right now. And this guy ran up and said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try and ambush him this way. But he, um, so this is our next victim. Damn, RIP. Probably don't have enough to identify him, but we definitely know the cause of death, which is, uh, dude got slashed up. Yeah, he got slid- slitted. It, it, it. Um, throat got slitted. Let me allow um, this comment. Hold on. Yeah. Um, actually, I have access to this stuff right here, which is good. Yeah. I keep a laptop near me for chat. Um, be careful. Uh, obviously, don't say spoilers in chat or I'll beat the crap out of you. Uh, I'll find you. I will find you. She has a very particular set of skills. Um, yeah. So, hey, unknown soul, but not an unknown fate. Knifed. Knifed. By? The captain. The captain. The who's, captain is just who's, murking everybody. He's kind of a badass. Yeah. He's kind of um, supremely good. And then, of course, we don't have enough to identify that. Presumably identify the captain. And then there's the other guy who was jumping. Jumping off. Um, I played this a little bit with Austin Walker over at Waypoint uh, last week. Um, I think on Thursday, maybe. Uh, yeah, it was Thursday because they mm. were doing a charity, oh, charity, mar- stream, charity yeah. marathon. I showed up there, was guest for a little bit. We played some of this. I think it was me and our good friend Joel. And then eventually Alex Navarro from Giant Bomb showed up. Cool. And um, we called this uh, this person over here very affectionately, Big Fat Baby Face O'Brien. Okay. Um, a wonderful shout out to all the the fantastic pirate characters in Muppet Treasure Island. Oh, Wow throwback because remember friends when you're a professional pirate you don't have to wear a suit (laughs) tim curry in that stand back lads this is my only number um one more corpse here we go let's do it kick it somebody says the waypoint stream was from uh fun from what i saw it was and they raised a fair amount of money for the florence project which is a charity that helps uh, immigrants and um, like displaced migrants nice. and things like that. Very important issue to be aware of at the time. Captain once again. Damn, this captain is just murking everybody. Presumably taking out because he's no longer here. Big fat baby face O'Brien. Damn, rip. But also, look, he has been <gasps> right. But this guy is a supremely yeah. He's he's gone. Dead. But also, door what's open. Going on in here. We'll open this door. Because we actually have <gasps> someone else. But of course, she's sleeping through this whole thing. The captain. Yeah, yeah. He who, looks like a. Who did he not have a shirt before? Yeah. Uh, or is he just um? That's Ocelot. Or is he uh? Yeah. That's what. Ocelot. That's one hundred percent. Six Ocelot. bullets. <laughs> More than enough to kill anything that moves. I used to be a captain. Yeah, this is a very sharp, pointy stick that they were trying to mess him with. But he still yeah. somehow got the knife in him. Yeah. Um, which is kind of interesting. Can't win them all. And then it's going to fade us out. Um, Captain, very good. You hear this jingle a lot, and I got to say, it's 
pretty catchy. These little jingles of what's happening here. So, one other person was president. Who's this fucker? How did he die? <laughs> <laughs> That's not what it says. No. So, unknown, unknown soul. How did he die? Uh, clubbed. He was clubbed. And there we go. But who was he clubbed by? Bopped on the head by the captain. By the captain. All right. So, we're getting there a little bit, piecing things together. But we don't have everything we need yet. Um, right? Uh, but we gotta walk through our magical door. Mm -hmm. Captain, remember the basics of CQC. <laughs> Crab battle. <laughs> Paramedic. We do it all the time. I seem to have countered some sort of cave demon. <laughs> it's a Kenyan mangrove crab. So what are you classic. talking about? Oh, it's, oh, it's the pincers could kill me in seconds. It comes up, it comes up every time. Yeah, it's so good. It's so, good. so, another corpse gonna start solving stuff um we're eventually gonna get to a pretty big spoiler once we no identify brother. um My what happened to the friend. lady once we go back to see what happened to her but this I guy's giving him. us information here Do abigail it. your brother i shot him dead so oh. we know there we go so now it's gonna help us identify the man he shot earlier from the from the doorway yes meanwhile captain please forgive me please. uh probably setting himself up for a little everything. You know, not great stuff. Oh, damn. So Captain has killed himself. Jeez. Very, very easy one to solve. Is it the Captain? Yeah, of course it is. Um, but now you'll see if we go back to Corpsey Dude. See his face? We can identify him. Wait, we can? Yeah. Because he said, hey, your brother. Oh, interesting. So if we check this guy and we check the manifest, okay. To look for siblings. So lady's name was Abigail. Abigail Hoskett Witterell. Okay. So let's go back and let's look, for instance, for Hoskett. William Hoskett. Whoa. He killed the first mate. Shit. And now the game says, like a cheeky little bitch, this may or may not be correct. <laughs> um, because in order to actually have something confirmed... Fates are validated in sets of threes. Once you have three intertwined fates, that will, um, or once you've collect, you know, correctly identified three people and their fate, that will actually solidify those things and make it so you can, hey, you can have those set in stone. So each time you solve three, you'll be able to do that. But actually, you know, in theory, if we wanted to, we can look at her, open up our book. And identify her. Because we know who she is, right? Yeah, it's Abigail. She's, it's Abigail. She was a passenger. So, you, so at the start, it said, oh, 51 crew, but there's at least a handful of passengers on the ship as well. Huh. And then, of course, if we wanted to, when we actually, we do that when we pop out um, we can identify the captain's fate because he uh, he sort of made it easy for us, right? Yeah. Nice and easy. Thanks. It's, Thanks, captain. So I noticed you didn't walk through the door that time. No, because what happens is it's going to give me a chance to sort of fade directly to the page. Mm. So Captain Robert Witterell. We know the fate. He uh, suicide. committed suicide with Done. a gun. There we go. So he shot himself. Gives us a little bit more information. And then, of course, it lets us hop back into the scene, and then the door opens. Mm. There's ways to leave earlier, I believe. Um, sometimes it's a little obtuse and not known to me. But basically, like I said, this game is one giant puzzle. That's like a so very cool. large puzzle of, hey, who are these people? And, you know, you saw even with this one, we had situations where we knew the cause of death for someone, but we didn't know the name right away. And now we have cause of death for a couple other people still and don't know. And the game will yeah. tell us at what point on their journey this stuff is happening too. Mm -hmm. So this is when, you know, they're getting from, you know, down here, Cape Verde, all around. This game is wild. So this is gonna spoil a pretty big plot point here. So if you are interested in this game and do not want to get spoiled, I am sorry, uh, but maybe this would be a chance to bug out. Um, otherwise, Paul, do you want to see something really cool? Spoil it. So this is Abigail's corpse. Hit me. So, how did Abigail die? Martin, a name, helps us out. Anytime I hear a name, gotta remember it. What name did she say again? 
Martin. Martin. Captain's below deck. Sounds like a bunch of bad shit's happening. Oof. So what happened to her? Damn. She gets hit by a beam. What if we get a better view of what's going on? Oh, wait. Oh, what the hell? Oh, wait. Oh, hell no. So this is your first big plot point. Uh, some people are not going to just been shot to death or stabbed. Um, it would appear that the ship has met with a terrible fate. Whoa. So, so we know essentially the cause of her death. She was crushed by a beam. Damn. But we have tons of other people around deck now. Uh, this yeah. guy here, who, Will Willem Dafoe. who may or may not be Martin. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Because look at his face. Cleared. And we only have a name there, right? Right. So that actually can help us deduce a little bit. So I'm going to say, hey, this guy's the third mate, Martin Parrott. Helps us out a little bit. Okay. Presumably down there. Here. Abigail? Abigail. But we have a lot of stuff going on. We have a lot of people here. Right. Whose face is unobscured, but I have no clue who she is yet, mm. right? Um, but of course, that's the first big, um, like, really big plot point. It's just like, oh, by the way, I mean, I know you explicitly had a magical hand thing that let you see people's death. Also, giant monsters. Giant monsters, yeah. Huge ass monsters. The Doom. The Doom. I love this. It's such a cool game. This game is amazing. It's really cool. Um, so there we go. Abigail Hoskett Witterell, passenger, met an unknown fate. What was their fate? Uh, she was hit by, a, crushed by a, a so I'm gonna beam. I'm going to say crushed by rigging. By rigging. Yeah, that sounds right. So now, though, three fates have been correctly identified. Oh. So... Abigail was indeed crushed by falling rigging. Oh. That was indeed William, who so was shot cool. by the captain. And the captain very obviously shot himself. The way the music's timed to the reveals is so adorable. It's fantastic. And then, something funny happening in the back of our book. Don't worry about it. What? But now... Oh no. I'm shook. Right. Something's happening here. Something's happening with our watch. Boom. <gasps> What? Because now we actually have the ability to go further into the scene and see not just the corpse, but Ooh. sort of somebody dying in the minute, <clears throat> in the moment. That's right? brutal. And so now we have somebody whose body we're going to find once we release our magic pocket watches uh, information. Because that corpse isn't there. Or is it? Maybe it's not there. But sometimes the corpses aren't even around anymore, so instead our watch says, hey, remember this guy? This is where they died. And so we need to identify a little bit more of what's going on. Furballs has an interesting point in the chat. That's cool. Yes. Don't want to say it, but that's cool. Oh, man. So he had a fun time Oof. right there. Yowzers. Yeah, so it's... It's something else. And then, of course, more stuff going on. Like, if we really want to, like, look around scenes, we can always go back to scenes, but this guy's like, Oh, I'm gonna catch this gun! And this guy's like, Oh, I remember him, too. This is the guy who we thought that we identified... Uh, no, because we thought we identified... Maybe that's Martin. Who knows? We'll find out. I think it's Martin. But then, of course, somebody else not doing so hot. Try, somebody else trying to shoot the giant monster. Look how gorgeous this weird yeah, game this is. Yeah, this is too. unbelievable. I know the stippling might not uh, uh, agree with everybody's uh, Tastes. compression on the stream, oh, especially. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, you know, shit going on. And now we have this guy whose face, I can't tell if that's <gasps> unobscured or not. Oh, but there's tattoos. Yes. He has a lot of tattoos. Which can help us. Any little thing can help us. But we know for certain how this guy died. Yeah. You have um, a good idea. Uh, right? So who is this? How did they die? Well, <laughs> Don't not know. entirely sure who this is. Um, but how did he die? Keep on going down. Torn apart. Torn apart. 100%. But by who? 
unknown. No. Is I, there? Is there? Oh, I beast. Think, I think it's by a terrible I didn't beast. See that. Right. So, um, yeah. So I actually think his face is unobscured, but I don't know how we would guess it at this point. Um, if we check, we can. Oh, there's a button to go back to table of contents. I should have just used that. Too late, right? If I want to, like, I know he's up here. Right. Right? So his face is unobscured. In theory, I could guess, but the game's not going to really tell me. Mm -hmm. Right? It's, there's no point in guessing now. Um, I still maintain, right? Who knows, right? Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. I still maintain that, uh, that that's, that's Martin. Martin. Uh, the, the more curious thing to me is actually the fact that these faces get unobscured very quickly. Um, but the game's going to tell me, right, hey, deduction. So in some cases, I, the thing is unobscured, but I don't necessarily have oh. enough information to say it outright, but I maybe do have enough things around to help me deduce it. Um, you know, so this is a little bit more difficult to deduce, but also like, okay, so they're not going to be, so they're probably going to be somewhere on the passenger manifest, right? Okay. Um, right? And you can identify a little bit once you, like, certainly not a ship steward, mm -hmm. certainly not some of the, the Chinese uh, folks on the ship, um, right? Right. Closer to probably the Mystine Bird, Emily Jackson, or somebody else, right? Can't quite tell yet. I mean, we can guess, but also the game's not going to tell me, congratulations. Or like, eh. you've completely got it right. Um, it's going to tell me to, hey, screw around a little while longer. And instead... Look at this corpse. Wang. I like the gong. <laughs> and maybe I'll let you do a little bit of the deducing. Okay. Detective Paul Tamayo. That's what they call me. Then you can go back to potentially playing your cowboy game. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know either. <laughs> Yeah, it's really hard yeah, to not spoil things. Pretty in this tough. Game. Get to the main bit quick. I like all the voice acting in this game. It's very nice. But even if you get the stuff spoiled, it's like you still gotta do it over and you gotta remember everything. Unless you're taking notes, you know. Like, I gotta right. remember shit. Detective and, Paul in the case. And because of the way that the notebook is, I don't think you really need to take too many notes. So something bad's going down. So, they throw a powder keg. Oh, damn. Um, but, you know, this guy is... Oh, no. ...hooked to some rope. Right? Um, and who do we got here? Oh, it's Tat... Tatman. Well, we know Tatman gets... Torn, torn apart. Up. And so the next question becomes... Who are these fools? You know, this is... Not Martin. I, Well, I, not Martin, but someone else. So they blow up the powder. This guy is tangled up here. Okay. And the question is, you know, is he going to get really torn up or what? Hard to say. But we can always revisit scenes. Or keep on going, see some more scenes, see if they give us a little bit more context. Right. Because when you saw that, hey. Who is this? How did they die? Do you have an idea? Uh, strangled? No. Right, there's... You know... Not suicide. Not suicide. Could be all sorts of things. We don't need to say. Some people could have fallen. Fallen. So I think it's actually possible, depending on the order of things, we'll have to double check, that the dude who's not Martin, who we saw on the stairs, stairs. tumbling back, might have died falling down the stairs. We'll have to check. Um, this guy could have been blasted by an explosion. Who knows? We'll just have to wait and see until Detective Paul Tamayo can tell me more. <laughs> I feel like I'm... Blowing it right now. Well, uh, you know, because I see this guy. Right. Hard to say. 
but you know, I still see. Yeah, because he's he looks like he's eating it right there. Like he's gonna like fall down. He's definitely gonna fall down. He's falling down. That guy potentially <laughs> crushed by falling guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he doesn't. He looks like he's a big boy. Um, I think we actually might have missed the dude though. If we look around here, we should want to find him, right? Where's the dude? It's a dude. Where's the corpse? Wait, can you look at the explosion again? Oh, is that uh -huh. not? Okay. So that gives us a hint. Oh, oh. How did you get there? Oh, well, he fell off the rigging then. And then he got exploded, right? Because that is... How did this guy die? He exploded. Absolutely exploded. But we don't know who the hell he is. No, not at all. I actually should have looked at that. I, uh, I did you dirty, dirty by being like, nothing else here. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing in that explosion. Yeah, sorry, dude. That's all right. What kind of asshole am I? <laughs> <laughs> the biggest. It was a goat. Yeah. So he's... With the lead pipe. He's a goner. Um, but then, of course... Are there not corpses down here? Perchance there are. No, it's definitely... Forsooth. Absolutely. Oh, God, this dude. Damn, homie. I wonder how he died. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, I'm not sure. Let me deduce this one. That's his name. Loose Cannon. Sir Loose Cannon. Loose Cannon, you're a dangerous soldier. Ooh. Yeah, so he is. Oh, damn. 100%. To right. the neck. So we can say, hey. Your boy got crushed. What? What? Did not mean to select that. I meant to select this other thing. Um... Oh, it won't do that until it actually fills our page in a second. But we'll know that this guy is uh, supremely crushed. Took a cannon to the neck. We got yes. that one. But then, of course, we have... Who... I believe that's who I've identified as Martin. Still. Okay. Um, and then this buddy is here. And then this buddy is... Oof. He did. Uh, yeah, but it's kind of hard to say, right? Did a... Is it? He's got like no head. Well, no. So, did the cannonball fire? Like, what's the deal? Oh. Right, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. How did that happen? Right. Um. Somebody says the pocket watch shows the relative order in which they died, not the exact moment. Yeah, it doesn't quite show us always. Um. Right. Some people are saying it shows the exact moment. It's kind of hard to say for me sometimes, but we know this fucker. For sure. He did. How did he die? <sighs> cannon to the neck. Crushed. Crushed. By the cannon. By the cannon. Absolutely. <laughs> and as if, by magic, we wanted to get more information on this schmuck, I say to all these dead people, it's very disrespectful of me. I know. Show some um, respect to the dead. To get a better sense of Hey, maybe what what led to some of this? What? This moment here. Okay, here we go. Oh, somebody was talking about the time. Oh, stop confusing us. Oh, okay then. The fuse. Yeah. Whoa. So. Oh, damn. He. Friendly fire. Absolutely. So this guy with the weird hat. <laughs> absolutely. Because the oh. monster, the monster grabs it. Gets messed up here. And that's what's going to cause one of these cannons to fly back and kill our buddy. Presumably, damn. right? And then, of course, here's. Tat man. Tattoo man again. Uh, we're going to have to work hard to identify names. But as we slowly start start to identify what's happening to people's fates 
then we can sort of figure out those moments of, hey, like, what are their names? Or, like, just slot them in. Yeah. And just be like, this guy's Tom Stevensburg. <laughs> he was clearly crushed by the monster. Um, right, because, like, I don't know. We'll, we know that this guy is the guy who was... Dismem- like, I mean, pulled it apart. Torn the fuck up. Yeah. But, we, but we can only vaguely guess at his name still. But we know for sure that this guy up here... Shop and cannon. Damn. Rip. Yeah. Right. So some people are saying, too, one thing that they should note out here is the person who has the X next to their name, here is the person who died. Ah! Um, so Top Hat guy. Oh, he was... Shot in the face. Shot. Shot. Cannon. By a cannon. Face. Oh, by the by... beast. <laughs> no, no, I guess it was... I don't know how to really identify yeah. that yet, but we have another dead soul who was in this scene, apparently, right? So, you might want to look around because we have, right, this guy. Yeah. Who is a, oh, different, yeah. a different crushed cannon guy. Presumably, can I zoom in on him enough? No. Oh. Oh, it's gonna give us the thing anyway. So hey, I wonder what happened to him. Absolutely crushed. I like that gong. Oh uh, yeah, that's good. So she's gonna bring us back to this. And we'll play, you know, 20 minutes more or something. Yeah. Relax. Enjoy everything. Happy Monday. Ooh. Somebody suggests a thing that we can do to help figure things out, too, is figure out their station. Right? Figure out... Ah, interesting. ...who they are in terms of... So this is the guy who gets shot, because you can see right there... Cannon's gonna fire off and nail him. Oof. We have this guy who may or may not be the guy who also was in that previous scene. We can double check. Um, and if so, then he was presumably shot too. This person. He gets crushed. Right. But what would we say he's crushed by? Cannon. The cannon. Grabbed by the monster. Oh. Right? Yeah. It's one of those questions. We'll have to think about it when we look at the list. But yes, this guy absolutely, we know now, two folks get shot. Wait, so is the, oh, they two right? of them get shot. because this cannon's going to go off and Oof. blow them off. We only saw the one corpse because, you know, maybe the other guy got aced real bad. Um, right. Interesting stuff. Gives us a little bit more of this. This guy, who was loading the cannon, how did he die? Oh, the guy who was loading the cannon. He was crushed. He was crushed. Cannon. Another cannon. Crushed by a loose cannon. Don't know his name, though. And then if we want to, we can go back <laughs> through our... Oh, God, it's so hard to find the fucking things. This guy, how did they die? Wait, wait, who's this guy? This was the guy who was behind this guy. He got shot, too. He got shot, too. Um, shot. Shot. Cannon by mm. whoever let that fuse, right, is who we're going to probably identify as the person who actually killed him. We're not going to say he was blasted by a, a terrible beast. By a terrible beast with a cannon, um, right? But this guy is the guy who shouted, the fuse! And then but, but if we can identify this guy, the guy who was loading, yeah, yeah, yeah. gives us a lot more information, I would assume, right? A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Let's see if we can start identifying names shortly um, to give us an idea of stuff that's going on. Also, just peek around, right? These guys are firing. We've seen that guy before. I think that's Big Fat Baby Faze O'Brien. Oh, shit. Uh, and then, yeah. Yeah, these guys eventually will go up and try and attack the cap. 
or some of them will try and attack the captain because if we look at him and we go to his page, this guy's the guy who ended up knifed. Mm. And then this is Big Fat Baby Face O'Brien who ended up clubbed. We don't have his name yet. And then this is, once again, Tatman. The Tatman. Doug Dimsdale, the Dimsdale Dimadome. <laughs> one hit wonder, Tatman John. Um, That's good for balls. Right. And then we have, again, for both. a lot of stuff going on here. Doug Dimadome, the Dimsdale Dimadome. Right? Yep. We, oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah. Because he gets, bla the other guy gets blasted to high hell and back. That's a shitty way to um, go. Yeah, it's not fun. And of course, you can just keep on exploring down below. Oh god, I love the arm. Yeah, 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 it's oh, really good. I love it. So good. You want to look around. Man, I, I would like, love this idea so much. You can see it, like, you can it's see the potential good. for it to but be. But hey. <gasps> dun, dun. Dun, dun. Oh, shit. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. Looks like two corpses to me. Is? New corpse, who that? <laughs> oh no, you're cut. Don't leave me. Bear up, son. I'll stay with you. T tell Pete's mother I, I, I tried my best. Aye. To pull him back to save him. You tell uh, yourself. Uh, Brennan, bring the surgeon's kit. So that starts to give us stuff. Okay, okay. Who's he yelling at? Who's Brennan? Could be our... Oof. Right, we want to give a sense of... Oh, that's Brennan, because he's like, huh? What? Sure. It's and your, look, because you can tell, it gives us a chance to identify. So, ready? Where's Brennan? Tell me when he's... Oh, I'm... Okay. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, uh... Henry Brennan. There you... Oh, okay. Seaman Henry Brennan was knifed by Captain Robert Ritterall. Witterall. There we go. But we have a lot. Oh, boy. More shit. Uh, so this is who I thought was. No. Mar no. No. I keep on thinking it's Martin. Martin. Right. He's kind of dabbing there. That's pretty cool. And then this guy. Because his face is unobscured. Uh-huh. Oh. Makes us. Like, then we know, okay, this guy's got to be Brennan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he was the only one whose face was unobscured. See, a little bit of detective work there. It gives us a little bit of help. Okay, but he said... So we know... Is this right. some sort of doctor? Um, so we'll go back and okay, see okay. it in a second. Because so it kind of right right knocks us out of the, uh, uh. the thing. Brings us back to the page. God, this game rules. Yeah, it's great. I want to play this with like five people though. We're all just yelling just at each everybody. other. No, you no, did. that's Brennan Dick. This is, that's Steve Bagoon. Scatman was a great song. Um, so now we have this. How do we die? Oh no, you're cut. Don't leave me. Tell Pete's mother. So we know he was oh. presumably not Na knifed. Um. But instead... Because he cut? No. Clubbed. Clubbed? No. I'm going to say he was killed by a sword. Oh. I'm going to say he was killed. Okay. So it was deliberate. What's well, a club? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some kind, but I don't know. And I'm just... I'm probably wrong about that snituation. <laughs> um, but hey, said cut. I don't see a knife. Maybe I was wrong. It was, so was it on the floor? Was it not? I think it was right outside the doorway. Uh, oh, you know what? You're right. Um, when we leave the door. You're right, actually. Oh, your boy was deducing. So it is a knife. So. <laughs> your boy was deducing. So he was knifed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we don't yeah. know who he is. Oh. Um, I want to go back to table of contents. Go to the crew. I want to get a look at this guy again. 
because I believe that's the guy who was in there, or maybe it was this guy. Fucking hell. Um, murder. He's got to find the right page. I'm going to find that dude again. You looking for a... Uh... So... We have enough to, in theory, identify the dude. Have enough theory to identify this dude. We um, do? Right, because the names are unobstructed. I want to find... What chapter was the one we were just looking at? So this guy was present. The captain was present. No, the first mate was. Oh, interesting. Okay. And then we have, presumably... Again, Henry Brennan was present nearby, who got uh, super killed by the captain <laughs> a bit later on. But we're just doing it piece by piece. I feel like you could have not taken the roundabout way. Yeah, that was a little. I'll do the roundabout. Make you shout out. And you're on the hook. Oh! Okay. Damn! So, our buddy here oh, shows us the memories that they're in. I forgot about that. That's cool. That's useful. So, we know that he got uh, certainly clubbed. Yeah. By. Aha! So he gets clubbed by Brennan, which okay. is interesting. This guy is, uh, ah, he has a gun. Oh, shit. So this guy, presumably. Oh, he got shot in the face. Gets shot in the face. But because we can't identify exactly, well, I guess in theory we could. Wait, I have a question. Identify who this guy is. No, it's not. His face isn't uh, unblurred. But this guy, for sure, Gets his head blown off, presumably by that gun held by this guy, who fires it when he gets struck, potentially? Or maybe no. a little bit, or actually, maybe he fires it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this guy strikes him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a, as a sort of, Oi! You shot the, you shot the fourth mate! <laughs> or whatever. I may or may not know some of this stuff. Oh. May or may not, who knows? Who knows? So is this... Here, here, I have a question. Yeah. Did this take place during a different part of their journey? This is not all happening while that huge kraken is attacking. We'd have to check. Okay. Um. All right. So, this dude. Whew. Extremely clubbed in the face. Back of the head. By. Brennan. Henry. Henry Brennan. But we don't have his name yet. Henri. Wong. Presumably going to give us this guy's fate. So he says, this is the chapter following Doom. Doom. It's sizzling. All sorts of Doom. Boom. Yes. It's so satisfying every time. Hey, wait. Ah. Ah. Wait for me. It doesn't really take you far. But, again, extremely shot in the face. Whoa. Oh, that's because you didn't long press it? Oh, that was weird. <laughs> Take that time. So. So that tells us. Oh, he was trying to snitch. It tells us some of what we know. Ooh. Yep. Lord. So, extremely shot in the face by this dude who we still don't know. But damn. Uh, let me zoom in on shot face dude. Oof. So I believe that's the guy I identified as Martin. So Martin extremely shot in the face by... You look at the top of his face? This guy. Oh, yeah. He's a... Oh, dang. He gets blown up big time. So he gets shot. 
And then... This is the guy who was knifed. Oh. Right. Um, ends up getting pulled in here. Uh, does he have a little... And he does have a little cravat. Um, where is Brennan? I see some blood back here, man. Damn. See, see what I'm talking about? Can you open door? You can't open doors when you're in this nah. mode. This game's wild. Dude, it's so good. Okay, so we know how they died. Yes, so. Oh. And this dude is the dude who got just fucking shot. Shot though. in the face, yeah. Oh, dude, no. no, get out of here. He's poisoned by, he's lead poison. Shot by, we don't know. Um, but we're going to keep on, I mean, we can go back to older scenes, but hey, I can try anyways, right? Because we know he's presumably some type of dude, so if we wanted to, like he's not, he's not one of those dudes, but you know. We could. Hmm. In theory, mess with a lot of stuff. Let's just keep on going forward to see more fates. Um, and then people can yell at us in chat or something. Yeah, yell at us in chat if you want. Yeah, fucking be a bunch of jerks. <laughs> I mean, oh, oh. Yes. What's going on over here? You know. Gotta get rid of the monster somehow. I actually don't know if the monster is coming yet. <laughs> In our timeline. But certainly, this is when the mutiny kicks off. Oh. Right. So they're starting to do their do their little ditty. And this dude. What's what's that looking up? Oh, that? I don't know. What is it? Let them go. So we're starting to at least round out our causes of death for a lot of people, which is good. Uh, oh, so oh, we can damn. start identifying. Um, so this guy, extremely shot. This guy who we cannot identify yet, but we can identify her in theory through some guesswork. This guy, I dare say, was possibly killed by that sword, but I don't want to say that definitely yet. Oh. This is the captain. Okay. Um, who has not fired off a shot yet, because we can see the direction of the little spitter spatter. And then we got second mate, and then Brennan. Brennan. Mutiny really kicking off. And the captain up here trying to stop. Who's but the, then, of course, who's this cat? that is 100% Big Fat Babyface O'Brien. Oh, wow, he's always climbing shit. He's all over the place. Stay climbing yeah, everything. I don't care much for his shenanigans. A lot of trouble. 11 others were present. But who's this person? Not sure. But how did he die? Extremely shot. A lot of people getting shot. Yeah. Gun. And we would have to guess a little bit based upon, you know, we have enough to say it was it's one of these three, right? It's not Abigail, but it could be Nunzio, Emily, Miss Jane Bird um, would be my guess, right? Yeah. and, um, and it, Because we don't like... have any, the further down we go here, we're going to get to like midshipmen and topmen and seamen and stuff. That's not going to be it. So she's a passenger, passenger for whatever reason. Um shoots them um but where's pete tell me when you see somebody named pete because i think that might help me peter know. milroy yeah. up, um, up, up, up. where 33 peter milroy do we have anybody with a name li uh, like jackson yeah i, I agree name? i think nunzio is not a nunzio sounds pretty masculine like a oh you're right you're right yeah i wasn't even thinking I was just, in my brain, I was just like, oh, passengers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, no, that's got to be a dude. So that gives us easier deduction. Um, 
50 50 shot yeah so we won't say it yet no i think um i think in my brain i was just thinking well it's got to be a passenger right. i wasn't thinking it fully through this will give us this guy right we slowly fill it bit by bit and then of course you can go back to previous scenes and get whatever knickknacks or little bits you want so good we'll play one more like one more thing? Yeah, just to show off fates. We're not really trying to go for a big solvey puzzle situation. We're mostly just trying to show off as, I think, um, we're doing some guesswork, but I also just like showing off scenes to start to paint the picture of what happened on the Oberdan. Last one. Move quick. You'll not take the last oh, no. All right, so his name's Paul. Damn. So he gets 100% stabbed by this dude who we can't identify. So I, but, get, I get stabbed. But of course, see, his name, we know his name. It's your boy. So you get stabbed. Damn. Um, and then she... Damn. That's baby girl. Mm-hmm. She, she was the one that called out Paul. Yes. And then I can't quite tell who these people are here. Um... Thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. But yeah, so it's like I said, this guy, this guy gets extremely stabbed. Damn. And then in retaliation, this person's trying to stop them to get on the lifeboats, gets shot. And Captain is trying to get up there and be like, oi. Chill. Um, but of course, again. <sighs> climbing shit. Big fat. Uh, Holy climbing shit. Big fat shit. baby fish at Brian. <laughs> use, the, use the stairs, Just my dude. Just going all over the place. And then we have, again, this will be our second mate. William, and then that is Brennan. Brennan. So we're starting to get pictures. That's cool. So we can, okay, here's where we're right, identifying. Right, so this is going to start to give us a lot more details. So this guy is... Um, it's your boy. This unknown soul. Probably Paul Moss, but let's see if there's any other Pauls. Right, that would be that would be such bullshit, but I bet you they do it at one point. They're Some like, guys There's last Thomas name. and Thomas. Yeah. Thomas so this Paul. This is definitely Paul. Chris Paul. He definitely gets uh, killed by a sword. Hard to identify the attacker. Yeah. Right. Don't know for sure. Because uh, you know, but we can start to identify folks. Um, this actually makes me curious. Oh, that's not what I meant to hit at all. Um, do 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 do. His last name's Moss. Oh, this is the, so. El Nara so and Chad is saying this is the scene where the with the big time detail. So Paul's from Wales. That would give you the names of those two passengers. Oh, okay, so is that it? Is it because my last name is? I mean, I'm saying me, but Paul's last name is Moss. But Can, it's not going to give us because they mentioned Paul's mother, right? Oh. Um, but. I think Miss would imply unmarried, right? So I Wait. think we can identify um, Miss Jane Bird. No. No, I think we can identify Emily Jackson. Wait, and how? I'm missing this. Because I don't think Miss Jane Bird is somebody who has a kid. Mm. Right. Okay. Uh, so that leaves that, which means that if we go back to, where's the dude who got supremely shot um, by the lady? There's got to be an easier way to look around. I forget. Um, right. Miss implies unmarried to me, which implies mm. no children in this day and age. Um I think she, I think he was shot by Emily, Emily Jackson. Jackson. But we don't know who he is. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, <laughs> I am for eels. <laughs> Never meant to make your daughter cry. I am several fish and not a guy. <laughs> One of the best tweets. What's going on? Why is Emily Jackson a mother again? Because I don't think she's a miss. Mm. Um, is my is my deductive reasoning there? Damn. Miss, miss implies uh, implies to me unmarried. 
which implies no kitty kids. Probably wrong. It's not that she's a mother, but I'm not going to say what it is. Oh, well. You can laugh at us from your... You can laugh at us from up top on your high horses, wherever you are. Let's do one more scene. Where's this fucking... I lost track of the goddamn corpse. Is it down here? Shit. Balls. No. The trail's gone cold. Where did the, where's the body? Damn it. Is it on a timer? I don't know. I lost track of it entirely. All right, go back upstairs. It's still up top, somebody says? Because I saw it this way. I thought... Oh, it... Or... Wait, look back, look up. What's that? Left, left, left? Oh, what the fuck? You sneaky snake. It's a smoke monster. Sparks only move while you look at them. Interesting. I thought they were just keep on... They were going to keep on going. Yeah, because we're going to get to... Someone here. Oh, it's one arm <laughs> McGee. <laughs> Let's see what happened to this dude. The squid's gone. Your mate was torn apart. Okay. Oh. So the guy who torn, who's torn apart was French. How did you kill it? We didn't. It left with the storm. The captain came up from the hole. Said he chased it off. Using magic. What did the captain do to get rid of the beast? Who knows? Damn. <laughs> One arm McGee. Yes. Helps us identify who the uh, guy who gets crushed is. Who are you? Who are you, buddy? Gave us a clue for Tatman, right? Yeah. We know he's French. Yeah. That's the second man again. I know your face. Does it let me? It does, huh? So instead we can go back to the crew and say, hey, this unknown soul. Got a French, he's from France. So where's your Frenchman? So I'm gonna say that guy is Charles Minor and the guy who had his arm taken off. He's also French. Is the bosun. So he says, oh, where's oh, my Frenchman? Got it, got it, got it, got it. So Frenchman, torn apart by, by beast. And then our scene is, boy, this dude is our bosun. Wait, how do you know that's for sure that guy? Because when I opened up to the scene where he dies, yeah, yeah. if I zoom in on him, I hit triangle and it brings me straight to him. Oh. Whenever I zoom in on somebody, it shows me a picture of them in the book. And if I hit triangle, it brings me to them in the book so I can immediately try to identify them. Interesting. Somebody says, I mean, makes sense. Maybe I'm wrong. Stop trying to fuck with us, chat. <laughs> Heather, why are you so dumb? I don't know because I was one. born stupid. No, no, no. That's someone else. However, <laughs> I'm actually really hungry. I might I actually be die. dying. I, I might grab. Yeah, my stomach's making like all another the bagel back down in the kitchen or something. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to not. Um... Where is our Frenchman? That's cool. Um, Met an I mean, unknown fate. We had a pretty good idea, Is right? There... Torn apart by a, by a beast. It's a pretty good guess. I mean, alternatively, Ki chopped. I mean, I don't... Arm chopped. Slap chopped. Is there <laughs> alive? He sp he didn't explode. Oh, so where they might have escaped to? So some of the people who escaped on boats. We'll have to check. Oh, that out later. interesting. Um, Damn. Oh yeah, actually everyone Tim is just like uh Oh yeah, you uh 
You caught me. He's like Eddie Murphy. He just plays all the roles. This fucking dude. I know what happens to you. <laughs> you get shot like a punk. From the badass captain who may or may not cursed us all and chased away. So did you finish this game? No, I didn't. Are you know. close? Too far. Um, no. I played a little bit this weekend. I was doing some stuff. I'm so curious to like finish this game now. <clears throat> Disappearances. Four wayward souls disappeared during the events of this chapter. Met an unknown fate. I think she escaped. I think she's alive. But I need to t see where they were in that memory. Which means that I think this is actually Miss Jane Bird. And I think she's alive, but I don't know where. Um, what fate befell them? I think they were both torn apart. People in chat are argue. I think there are. I think people people in chat are arguing over the de definition of torn apart. That man had no arm. <laughs> um, so then, one thing I want to do then in this is <laughs> alive, blessing the rains down in Africa. Um, escape. It's gonna take some time. So they escape in this chapter. Where are they on the map? So, they're near here, after the fucking thing shows up. So, they escape potentially to the Azores or to the Canary Island. I say they go to the Azores, right? Because yeah. I think they're alive. I think they get off the boat because the game says, hey, those fuckers got out of here. So, I think you're alive. I think you're in the Azores. I think you are also alive. I don't know who the fuck you are. <laughs> but I think that's it. I think we I think we can't check anymore right now. Yeah, I think that's a good place to, to probably wrap things up for today. Yeah, who knows? Who um, knows? Did we get it right? I don't know. Who, know. who knows? So just to be clear, you're playing. we're playing this on PC. PC. I think it's not available on Mac and Linux yet? It might be. I'm not good at remembering that shit. Mm. Um, but, uh, you know. Yeah, you know. this is interesting. This Some is people so are saying, somebody says, I feel like I deduced way too much and didn't look enough for details. So you're guessing, you mean like sort of, it's available on Mac. Oh, cool. So you mean sort of like, you kind of um, brute forced a little bit with certain stuff. Um. Yeah, somebody says, I don't know if there's enough information to solve any of the four disappeared people. Well, I know they're getting on a lifeboat. And I know the general area on the journey, they're getting in the lifeboat, lifeboat. So I'm assuming, at least at the moment, right, to fill out the information, which could be wrong, right? Is, hey, they got on the lifeboat and maybe they escaped. Who knows? I don't know what happened to them. Um, but, you know, right? That's what I would do. Maybe that's maybe what I would deduce or something. But there's a lot of uh, things that could... Uh, could be wrong or uh information that could change all sorts of stuff this is so in such an interesting game yes like, just like i would i would actually i mean people are talking about it the obligatory question if it's gonna be on switch oh god it's i just, would kill it's for this on game. switch like if, like i would play this in one flight and just have the time of my life yeah um so some people say um once you identify who's in the lifeboat you can know where they went well i mean like that would just mean I, th I mean, I think I have an idea of who this dude is, which I also think he's alive and probably in the Azores. I think I kind of know who he is, but, you know, whatever. And then this leaves. The kid? Yeah, so I don't know. In the or manifest... At least, or at least maybe, um... Maybe it's not the Azores, but, you know. And the manifest doesn't tell you, like, if they were a child or something? No, not really. So if I go back... You know... But I can start to put pieces together. I do think I know who that guy is, um, uh, given given what we've been told. Um, they're probably not in the Azores, but I think a lot of passengers got away. Yeah, this is my uh, is my big my big guess based upon what we've seen. Um, Real interesting stuff. But again, some people are saying, "Hey, remember, look at 
how people are dressed or something. So the kid's wearing a uniform, which means that and oh. it, perhaps he's someone's steward or something, right? Perhaps he is somebody's mate. Um, so if we went one more time just to the crew stuff, like, aha, like, bosun's mate, carpenter's mate. Oh. Lots of mates. Right? That's interesting. So it helps us know his rank. Huh. Somebody's right. Um, yeah, I'm very curious to see. I know some people in chat were saying they, they, they finished this game, but I'm, I'm very curious to see this game to the end, see how it yeah. wraps everything up. And somebody says it's not really a loop of going from, like, one mystery solved to another, to another, to another, but, you know, if we wanted to, again, go to one more time to the people who escaped, you know, very briefly escaped. before the end of our stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, hey... We got folks who escaped. Um, you know, I could check who they are or whatever. That's um, cool. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. So, so I like this game a lot, and we were kind of, how much do I know? Do I not know? <laughs> but, you know, kind of playing it for fun right now, kind of showing you all the scenes. This is a great game. I think it's going to be... Um, it's going to be on your list this year? Definitely going to be on my list. Um, I think it should be... Something that a lot of people check out if they're into really interesting stuff. So yeah, this is right up my alley. I'm very curious to, yeah, to very play much, more. I'd very much go for it. Word. Okay, cool. So uh, yeah, that was our stream for today. And uh, we'll be streaming pretty much every day this week at 1. So yeah. stay tuned, everybody. Peace. Yep. See you.